everybody. My name is Miss Heaney and today we are going to talk about the differences between a natural and a cultivated forest. To begin with, a natural forest is a forest that grows without the help of people. So here are some pictures of natural forests. Some of the qualities of a natural forest are trees that aren't really growing in any sort of way. So for example, we see some trees here that are growing. This tree's big, this tree's small. Um, in natural forests, we see a lot of variation or changes in how the trees look. Also in a natural forest, we're gonna see a lot of down branches, moss growing, ferns growing. There's gonna be a lot of different vegetation or plants in a natural forest. The trees grow wherever the seeds land. So a tree grows from like an acorn. So if an acorn falls in a forest, a tree is gonna grow there eventually if it gets the right water and nutrients. In a natural forest, the trees grow wherever they want. Natural forests are not impacted or touched by humans. So that will make more sense when we talk about what a cultivated forest is. A cultivated forest is a man-made forest, usually to cut down and to make money. Cultivated is, prepared, is preparing the land by loosening and breaking up the soil. So cultivated means that it is being grown. So humans are going out and they are preparing the land and they are physically planting the trees. Here are some pictures of cultivated forests. If you see here, this is a cultivated forest because you can see that a human or a machine helped loosen and break up the soil here. And if you can see, it kind of looks like it's in lines. So a human or a machine went and tilled or helped loosen the soil so that they could plant a tree and the tree would grow here. A good sign of a cultivated forest is if the trees are in lines. So for example, this is a Christmas tree farm. A lot of people during the winter months cut down a tree and they bring it into their home. This is an example of a cultivated forest. If you were planting Christmas trees to cut down and grow for money, you would be participating in building a cultivated forest. They are lined up and then once they grow to the size that they would want for a tree, they are going to cut it down and sell it to make money. Here's an example of a cultivated forest. If you see, the trees look like they are in straight rows. This kind of forest may be cut down to make lumber or wood for homes or to make paper. So a cultivated forest is a man-made forest. Does that mean the trees are fake? No, the trees are still real, the plants are still real, but they were planted by a human with the intention of cutting it down to make money. So let's look real quick at the differences. Here's a picture of a natural forest. You can see that the trees are growing wherever they want. There's a lot of vegetation or little plants on the bottom of the forest. That's very different than our cultivated forest where the trees are planted in rows and you can see that a lot of humans have cleaned up the ground of the different vegetation. So there's not a lot of different crops growing on that ground because they really want the trees to grow so they can cut it down and make money. I hope that this presentation helped you learn the difference between a natural and a cultivated forest. Remember, a natural forest is grown in nature without the help of humans. A cultivated forest is grown with the help of humans, and it's usually grown for humans to cut down the trees to make money, to sell the trees or to sell the wood or to create the trees into other products. Thanks for watching. Bye.